Hey, what up? You know who it is. It's me again. Listen, I want to talk about something real quick. I've been talking to a lot of people. A lot of times people are looking at different people and, you know, saying hashtag goals. I want to be like this person. I'm looking at this person. Um, they're successful. I want to be successful. I want to own this and I want to be my own business owner. Why not you? Yep, I'm talking to you. It made me think of Nehemiah, man, in the Bible. This dude was a cupbearer, the lowest of low, and he was able to let God use him to restore a city. A lot of us are in the process of restoration, restoration in your life, in your finances, in your marriage, just you as a person, health, fitness. But the crazy thing about restoration is before there's restoration, there is aggravation, agitation. There's gonna be a very uncomfortableness. I don't even know that's a word, but I'm gonna use it. And there's gonna be some things that you won't change in your life, change in your community. You want things to change. And you're looking around, man, somebody should be uh, helping the homeless. Somebody should be helping people who are getting out of prison to help them find jobs. Help this, this side of town because this side of town doesn't get no love and somebody should help restore the city. It might as well be you. You got a burden in your heart. It's, it's sign after sign. You watch a commercial and it comes in your head. You hear a song and it comes in your head. How many more signs you need? You're like, somebody might as well do something. It might as well be you. Somebody has to do something and it might as well be you. Yes, you. The one with hardly an education. The one that doesn't have any money. The one that lives in the hood. Even the one that is far from Christ. Yeah, I said it, far from Christ. God can use anybody. And why not you? Start jotting down everything that you see in your mind, everything that you've been dreaming about, it's about to come to pass, it's about to happen. But guess what? It's not gonna happen without a fight. Yep, you're gonna have to fight for this. You're gonna have to swing, you're gonna have to kick, you're gonna have to crawl, but guess what? You're built for this. Because God designed you purpose for this yep this much money in the bank but this dream and vision is gonna cost this much don't worry about it where god gives you vision he will also give you provision because he will provide somebody gotta do something about it it might as well be you